watch the YouTube. It's your man's Mo. Back with another video. And today, man, I got y'all with a review video. You feel me? But first things first, Happy New Year's. Um, I think the last video I recorded, I don't think, I don't know if it was New Year's Year. It was probably New Year's. I don't remember. But Happy New Year's to all y'all. It's 2021. I hope this year is filled with nothing but positivity, nothing but blessings to everyone that watches this. Um, and, you know, I just want y'all to, to keep pushing, keep motivating, keep going, reach your goals, use your talents. You are given natural born talents and use that to your benefit to help you in this lifetime and in the next lifetime. Make yourself, put yourself in a position that your kids and, uh, your kids, kids and your kids, 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 kids is always going to be set, you know, make sure that you do something that's going to not only change your life but change the world. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if you weren't, if you don't know, um, 2020 we hit our goal. We wanted to hit 100 subscribers before the end of the year. Um, we didn't start at the beginning of the year. We started, but we but we did hit our goal. You feel me? We did hit 100 subscribers um, before the end of the year, and I think we hit 100 subscribers before. We have more than 100 subscribers before the end of the year. I think right now we're at like 113 or one something like that, almost 120. Um, so go to 120 um, on the way, you feel me? Um, but since we hit our goal, I'm going to do as I promised way, way back when, back in, in 2K20, what I was saying is when we hit 100 subscribers, I was going to do a giveaway for $100, and that is the case. So um, for everyone that watches this video, if you would like to be included into the $100 giveaway, um, make sure you go ahead and you click that subscribe button. And then also go down into the comments and make sure you go ahead and comment Bat Gang for Life so that I know that you want to be entered into the giveaway. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but regardless of that, um, my reviews for... 2K21, next gen, next gen. No, nah, as a matter of fact, we're going to give a review for both. We're going to give a review for both current gen and next gen. Current gen, um, it's not bad. You know, the only bad part about current gen is the defense and is the... Turn this off. The only problem with 2K21 current gen, like I said, is the defense, the sliding on defense, um, and the the sliding on defense, the abuse of using one move. I don't have a problem with the move being in the game. I have a problem that the move is so, it's not even overpowered. I can't even say it's overpowered because you can obviously, you can obviously defend the move. You feel what I'm saying? And by the move, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what move I'm talking about. The curry slot. You feel me? Um, It's not even a hard, it's not like it's a hard move to, to defend. It's not that it's hard to defend. It's just the fact that it's very overused. Um, and that's not the developer's fault. That's definitely the people's fault. That's 2K community fault. Um, but, you know, that's that's not their fault. But regardless, what is their fault that they can control is the sliding on defense and the fact that people are using Zens. Um, the sliding on defense is still there. Um, you still slide. Like, you can... You can choose to stop but your player would continue like you would stop using your you would stop moving your left analog stick and your player would continue to move he will continue to move in whatever direction you were moving before coming to a complete stop and that is and i i don't know if that i don't know if that's more of a delay reaction um between the controller and the game or a delayed reaction um, between 
um, the game and our player. I don't I don't know what it is, but it's just an issue. It's it's really just an issue. Sliding on defense and then the Zen. Um, and with that, they try to fit the fact that people can just go to GameStop and buy a Zen is is really it is it's really trash. That's just really trash. Um it's it's really it's it's pathetic, to be honest. People who just go out and buy Zens, um, just to you're you're not even doing anything. You're not even you using Zens, people people using Zens, people buying Zens, people abusing the curry slot, it's not guaranteeing you any wins. It's just you doing it to try to, I guess, get a upper hand on regular players. If a if a, if a person plays um, good enough defense, the curry slot is irrelevant. You 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 keep curry sliding, curry sliding. It's not doing anything because he's playing you the right way. If you have a zen, he's playing you. He's going to play you the right way. You having a zen is not going to to automatically give you a win. It, it's irrelevant. I've already had videos um, showing that people can curry slide and they're not going to win. Like. I've, I, especially for me, I'm just not a person who decides to use curry slides like that. But that's just me. I choose not to use curry slides. The all same way that I choose not to use curry slides, somebody else can choose to use a curry slide. I just have to keep it in my mind and I have to keep a clear awareness of that people is going to abuse it. And that is completely up to them. But I'm going to adjust myself to completely make it irrelevant. Because I'm going to make sure that I guard myself or I put myself in a position to guard those people at the best of my ability. If they win, fine. You got one. But not everyone is going to win. Um, same way with the Zens. If someone has a Zen, I need to adjust myself, play better defense to make sure that their Zen is irrelevant. As long as irrelevant, I got to put enough pressure. I got to put enough um, defense. I got to put my hands up to make sure that they do not have a wide open or a... Um, I got to put as much contest on them as possible. That's it. You feel me? And that's just for current gen. Um, for next gen, um, I've played next gen a little bit. As you can see, I have a record of... Uh, What is my record? Show my record. 23 and 12. I have a record of 23 and 12. Um, which is not bad. It's not the worst record. Um, but it, it's a, it's an okay record. It's not it's not it's not the best record that I wish to have, but it's an okay record. 23 and 12. Um, which means I played the game, you know, quite a, a little bit. I played a couple of, of you know, city games, party games. And um even though I'm finding a little success. Um, it's still, you know, pretty, I, I, I can't say that it's balanced. Why? Um, because the contact dunks are at a level where no matter how much defense you put, they're going to activate. Now, you can surely have a better chance depending on how you make your build. Um, but again, that is on the basis of how you decide to make your build. Now. Also, curry slide is still a super abused move in um, in next gen. But hey, that's none of my business. Now, um, Zens, <laughs> Zens, they 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 put they put the game in a position where um, you cannot use a Zen, right? They put it in a position where. Depending on your position on the court, there's different green window timings for different spots on the court, which counteracts Zens. Why? Because a Zen is calibrated for one setting or one timing, and you can't automatically keep changing the timing for depending on the position because the Zen can't do that. It cannot record all of those different timings at one time. Um, so that defeats the purpose of a Zen or a modded controller. Um, but the downside to that, it makes it a lot harder for regular people who are playing the game to play it efficiently because now you have to try to, um, now timing as far as understanding your, your jump shot timing 
is irrelevant. Now for you, you're going to have to understand your 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 jump shot visual. You have to see how your jump shot looks and how your what what the release cue in your jump shot is for you to get green window shot time. You feel me? So you have to watch your player, how your player moves, and how your player looks at the green time window for all the windows to keep that into your mind calculate that and time it for that you have to time it for the movement of your player not the timing of the green window which is a it's a little difficult because some people they don't pay attention to that some people they so it, their muscle memory is done like you can't rely on muscle memory anymore because the timing and things like that which is it's very, uh, I guess, degrading, but I mean, hey, whatever. Whatever, 2K. It's not like 2K really cares. But um, that's that. That At least, you know, in the, in the upside, it removes the, the abusive zens. In the downside, uh, it makes it harder to shoot. Um, now, as far as builds, as far as builds, I think 2K made a really, really, the 2K builder is good, but the way that they conducted the 2K builder is ass. And why do I say that? Because everyone just wants to make power forwards. Everyone is just making power forwards because it allows, the power forwards, I guess, allows you to get, um, it allows you to get m more badges for less abilities if that or attributes if that makes sense so like for me I'm a point guard as you can see I'm a point guard two-way scoring machine um, at my height 66 wingspan 611 um, and if you look at my badges I get a decent amount of badges but it's not I get a decent amount of badges 7 finishing 19 shooting 13 playmaking 19 defense which is not bad not bad at all but if you would make this build as a power forward um, apparently you would get a lot more you would get a lot more badges the attributes may be different but it seems like the the badges I don't know if the attributes are super different but I know for a fact the attributes the attributes levels might be different and the badges will apparently be way more I don't know because I didn't make a Power forward. I am a guard. I am a point guard. I like to... The point guard, for me, the way I play point guard is I like to try to pass and get more assists. But if I can get open to make myself open to get a point, I'm going to get a point. If I have an open three, I'm going to shoot the open three. But I have no problem passing the ball. I have no problem dishing it out. If I, if I, if that's the game plan and I see every time I go to the, I go to the paint, they're, they're all closing in on me. I'm going to dish it out and get a, have my, my teammates, you know, get an open shot. However, I need to play for us to win is how I'm going to play. I know a lot of people is not like that. A lot of people is very selfish. They want to get the most points because they are quote unquote the scorer but hey that's you that's how you play all right to you that's your choice me i'm a team player if i need to pass i'm going to pass and that's just how i need to whoever if they someone has a high hand i'm going to diss it to them and they can continue with their high hand so we can win as a team it is a team it's basketball is a team sport but that's just me um but yeah as far as the builds they kind of made the power for it a little too much. That's too much. Um, another thing towards the builds, and this is the part where I feel that the build, like the build, the the my my career builder is great, but it still has flaws. For example, in my build, I am a point guard. As a point guard, you are going to guard other point guards, and as a point guard, you are on ball. Usually, majority of the time, you are on ball. So for me, as an on-ball defender, I'm going to need high steal. But because of how 2K made their my career builder, steal costs too much overall um, points or however that you want to calculate that because now it's about overall. But it costs too much. For me to get a high steal is going to 
completely diminished my defense, which is horrible. Why? Because I am an on ball. I'm an all ball defender. I am a point guard. I'm going to guard point guards. I need high steel. That's going to in that's I need a high perimeter. I need high steel. Um, I need a I, I need a decent block. You feel me? I need a, de- a decent interior defense. I, as far as defense, but what I need for sure is a high perimeter defense and high steel. And I would like a high block. But because of the way that 2K made their builder, if I put any steel, I would not be. I would not have 19 defense. I would not at all. I would not have 19. I probably won't even have 10. I'll probably have 5 or maybe even less than that. And for some people, that is fine. But for me, I can't do that. Because even though attribute matters, yes, attribute matters, is badges equipped to your attributes. Because of this, I cannot get pickpocket. I have to rely on lucky bump steals, lucky steals at the right time, um, and so on and so forth. Which is it's bad for, that's bad, okay? That's bad. You should make sure that when you make your builders, make it make your builders equipped and the and the attributes go towards the position. Make it towards the position. I am a point guard, I need steel. A power forward might not need as much steals as he would need steel as well, but he might not need as much steals as me. Because I'm going to be on ball the most. He's not gonna be on ball the most. A center doesn't need that much steel. A center needs a lot of interior defense, a lot of block, a lot of offense and defensive rebound. But why when I get high defense and offensive rebound, it benefits me more as far as attributes and badges. No, I would like more steals. So make your make make it a make it tied into the position and you know, because twenty five steel is trash. I would never if if it wasn't man, I would never have really chosen to go with this if I didn't see that, you know, as far as the the badges and stuff, there are more important badges and more important defensive qualities that go above steel. But steel is still very important as far as a point guard. You feel what I'm saying? Overall, um, you know, what I suggest for people to get, you know, next gen, um, 2K21, sure, if you're trying to just have fun, if you just want to relax, play the game sometimes, whatever, sure, hey, do your thing. But if it's more on like a, you want to, you want to get it because, you know, competition or career or something, no, this game is too, too unbalanced, too unfair, it's, it's, you might as well not. You might as well not. Uh, I suggest... For 2K21, uh, or 2K, for I suggest for 2K22, you make the builds, you make you make the the badges and the attributes tied into the position. You're going to find a lot of more balanced things that way. I promise you. If you tie it towards position, you're going to find a lot more balance. You find a lot more balance because point guards, they can they can dunk, but they, you know, point guards can dunk. Point guards, I, for me, I feel like point guards do a lot of things, but they do a lot, they do passing a lot better. But me, as you can see, I always try to make an overall build, regardless of the name, where I, even though I wouldn't want this name, regardless of the name, I still try to make majority of all over around, all around players. Um, for two K twenty two, I suggest that you tie it to the. First, you fix the defense, cause also on two K twenty one you're sliding. It, regardless, it's still sliding. Um, and I, I feel like I hope I pray that in two K twenty uh twenty one they fix that because I for that is going to be majority of their concern on the next gen. The next gen came out. If you got one, awesome. I'm happy for you. If you would like for us to play, you can go ahead and put your gamer tag in the comments, or you can text me on my social media, um, in the bottom left corner. Um, send me your gamer tag and we can link up and we can play. Um, but majority of their concern for 2K22 is going to be towards the next gen. Um, so hopefully once the team all is focused on that, the game is going to be a lot better. Um, but I, I just pray that they fix a lot of the things that need to be fixed. Defense, um, badges, um, overpowered things, curry slide, um, um, zen. Um, a more a more efficient way because having to having to 
catch different timings for different spots, it's really not. It's really not it. That's really not it. In my opinion, that's really not it. Um, maybe you can put in a code. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can put in a code that's going to destroy Zens that won't allow you to use Zens or modded controllers, but then that will affect those that use modded controllers as for studies and towards the game and things like that. But hey, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you like the video or if you like the, uh, my opinions or if you have anything against my opinions and you uh, you have different thoughts, go ahead and put those down in the comments. Like the video if you like the video. Make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure you go ahead and you click that notification button to go ahead and be a part of the Big Bad Gang. Yes, sir. Make sure you go also and go ahead and join that giveaway. Like I said, click the subscribe button. Go down in the comments and type in Bad Gang for Life. Um, and then you'll also you'll be entered in the giveaway. Um, and then also make sure you show some love. Um, click the share button. Say it to your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your auntie, your uncle, your grandpa, and your grandpa. You know, we'll be out here trying to find some nice, sexy, big booty, thick, juicy, sugar mama. We're gonna be out here playing out there. It's your man, it's Mo. And I'm gonna catch you on the next